Hey everyone, I want to go over my uh, NBA basketball uh, spreadsheet tool and how to use it. So here's the, the main screen. We're on the main tab. First thing you would do is enter your login and password here. And if it's the first time you're using it, you're going to press refresh logins. <clears throat> if you've um, used it before, you don't have to press refresh logins after the first time. You just leave, make sure it's in here. And then we start things off by you press refresh today's data. So I'm going to press that button, and it's what it's going to do. It's going to go out and pull in uh, today's information, the games, the uh, salaries, all the other stats. And it'll take, I don't know, five, ten seconds. Okay, so we're, we're done. And it takes us to the stats page. But before we look at that, let's go back to the main tab. So what we did, we press refresh. That get, pulls in today's data. And what it's going to do, it's if you... Uh, See, it's today's date. It's November 30th. It's pulling all today's games. It's got the the line uh, for both teams. It's got the over under. Here is where you can decide to include players. What this means is, if you want to include them in your lineups, you might be playing just the the late slate, the 10 o'clock games. Then you would change this to a, a no, and you can copy this all the way down. So, say it would only transfer over these two games. But just for this example, let's have yes for all of them. Uh, actually I've got these buttons here that you can change to if you want to make these all no to, to do it quickly then make them all yes um, just to save you a, a, a little step. And you press transfer players and what it's going to do it's going to transfer all the players from these teams onto your lineups tab. So, uh, I'm sorry I'm kind of bouncing around here but let's just go back to the main tab again. This is where all everything happens we press refresh. That's always the first thing you do to get today's data. I kind of have this spelled out here on the right on like how to use. It kind of tells this, these same steps. So after we press transfer, we got all the players on the multi lineups. But I've got other tabs first before we go into running lineups. Here's the stats tab. What this does, this pulls in all the latest stats. So it's got the players here. We'll scroll down the team. We got the FanDuel and DraftKings salaries. We got different projections. Uh, we got my projections. We got your own projections, which I'll show you how you how you can create them. Uh, we got the over under. We got injury status. Here's the line, and then we get some more advanced stats: days rest. Um, here's uh, how many games they played. Their average FanDuel. I just have it set up for FanDuel points, but I mean it works for either because the scoring is pretty similar. Um, here's the average FanDuel points home and away. If this player is playing at home, it'll show that their home home average points are. Uh, here's the last year's. Um, here's versus the opponent, if they played the opponent before. Um, just to kind of see if you can find the trend there. Um, this is for this year. Here's last year's. Uh, how many fantasy points did they score uh, in the last three and six games. Here's what like their maximum was in the last three games. Maximum in the last six. And the same for the minimum. And then we get into minutes, how many average minutes do they play, minutes in the last three and six. Um, and then here's some defensive stats. The, the defense, like how many fantasy points are given up versus that position by their opponent. And here's a couple like in the last five and the last ten. And then here's just a few more stats to end it up. Uh, percentage of minutes increased. That's good to see if like a player all of a sudden is playing more minutes because of an injury to someone else. Um, one is just the average means they're playing the same. If it's under one, it means they're playing less minutes. Uh, if it's over one, like here, Harden's playing a few more minutes than normal. And then here's just a few more uh, advanced stats uh, that I have set up. Next, are the, uh, there's a leaders page I got set up, which will show like the top, I think I got the top 50 on here. Players, um, fantasy points scored, fantasy points scored the last three games, last six games, so you can kind of see it in a little more condensed style. There's average minutes per game, um, average points per minute, average increase in minutes in the last uh, three games. So you can see, like, Daryl Arthur all of a sudden is 1.6. That means he's playing 60% more minutes than he, he than his average is. Uh, we looked at the stats. Here's the projection. You can build your own projections. What this does is it kind of starts off with the uh, average FanDuel points. And then it, it adds or subtracts different percentages based on what you set up here. Like here's the line. If the line is uh, between minus 10 and minus 25, if they happen to be high favorite, I have it set up where 
it'll take whatever their, their average points are, say it's 20 points, it'll add one point, time, multiply it by 1.3. So that'll make it like 30% extra, which is about 6 points more. Um, days rest, do you want to increase or decrease their points by days rest? Um, if they're home or away, do they, are they play, do they play better or, or worse? Uh, fantasy points given up by opponent. And so I've got like six or seven different categories here where you can set your criteria. Then when you're done, you press to update the stats page. And then we'll go back to the stats page. And you can see the, uh, oops, I missed the, where, the projections here. It'd be under your projections. So these are the, what the score is based on your projections. If you changed up the numbers a little bit, it'll change these up. Um, next is we're, we're going to get into the optimal lineups. Here's where you get the ac actual players. These are um, all their salaries, and here's our projections. Now you get to pick different criteria. How many lineups do you want to pick? You can pick up to 200. Uh, what's the variance? What that just means is, when say you pick three lineups, the first lineup scores 300. The scoring variance for the next lineup is 0 0.2 less than that. So it's 299.8 or less. If you want to stack a team, you can pick a team that you want to you want to stack, and uh, the number of players that um, you want on it. Uh, FanDuel the maximum is four four players. DraftKings you can have more. And then here you pick which projection you want to use. Uh, ours or yours, or they get number fire on here. Then you press to pre press this picks a lineup, and it'll run a lineup. It takes five to ten seconds per lineup, roughly. You can do a FanDuel or DraftKings. I'm not going to run through it now, um, just to save time. But when you're done, it's going to take you to this. And here's the lineups. It's going to show all the positions, and here's your players. There's the salary, and there's the projections. See, this is a DraftKings lineup I have set up here. And what I've got a few buttons on here. You can export this to a CSV file. So I know in DraftKings you can import CSV files and uh, get all the lineups faster. And you can also um, check the injury status. See, if you press this... Nobody there is injured, but if there was some, was an injury, um, even just like a day to day or questionable type thing, it'll show up there. So that's our most common lineup optimizer. I've got two others which I'll I'll run through. This multi lineup two is um, where you can you just rank the players. It doesn't go on projections. You just rank the players from one to five on the players that you want to show up in your lineup. Say. Um, you want to fade Westbrook today, you, you don't want him in any lineup, so you don't put anything. You want Curry in, you put a 4. It's between 1 and 5. The higher the number, up to 5 means, like a 5 will probably show up in about 75-80% to 80 of your lineups. A 2 will show up in maybe 30%. A 1 will show up in maybe 10% of the lineups. And so you, you can go through, pick how many, pick the um, players like, oh, I'm I sort of like Whiteside, but not too much, but I want him in a few lineups. Um, like, go down here, I'm like, I'm really high on uh, Isaiah Thomas today, so I'm going to put a 5 based on, I think he's going to have a good game. And then here it's going to count your selections. You want to make sure you have enough selections for Solver 2 to pick um, when you're when you're for, for doing the lineups. Here you can pick the number of lineups you want, but then you can just run FanDuel or DraftKings lineups. And the last tool is the multi-lineup 3. It works very similar to the 1, except it goes a lot faster. So here you can stack a team. You can also include or exclude a player. This works the same on the multi lineup one tab. I forgot to mention that. If you really like a player, like you want Blake Griffin in there, you can include him, you can exclude him, and then he'll be in every one of your lineups. Uh, the same works for three, for this multi lineup three, but the difference between this one, multi lineup three, is it runs like a thousand lineups in, in under three minutes. So you can get a bunch of lineups running, you can export them to CSV and get a real, real fast. Um, so it depends what you're looking for. If you only want to run five lineups, you would you want to use multi lineup one. You can get that done in 30 seconds. If you want to run run a ton of lineups, this this lineup three is what you would need. Uh, if you want to stack a team, you can do that. You can pick what projections you want to use again, and then you click the button. It'll run it, and it'll come out to something like this. It'll show all the players. It's going to show um, the salary and their uh, projected score. And then you can um, export that to a, a CSV file. So that is uh, that is everything on the, the tool. If you have any questions, I mean, it takes a little time to get used to it, but I 
I try to make it as user-friendly as I could, and um, I'm always around for questions. Thanks a lot. Bye.